hello and welcome to my channel. Now, a few of you have been asking me about my wild camping. What's going on with the wild camping, Rob? Well, it is returning, of course, because the weather is getting better. I can hear the birds singing in the morning and I'm keen to get my tent pitched up again and get out wild camping. If you follow my channel, you will know that uh, I've got the uh, West Highland Way coming up. Me and my lass are doing that in uh, August, September 2021 this year. So we will be training for that at the moment, just doing the walking. But I've been buying a few little bits, uh, tweaking my uh, wild camping gear, getting it as light as I can. So I have got some new wild camping gear. So yeah, weather's getting better. Uh, I'm only a three season camper. I have tried camping out once on Black Hill. You can have a look at that vlog. Uh, on Black Hill, I camped out and uh, it was wintry and icy. I think it was about minus six up there and uh, I won't be doing that again. You have to really know what you're doing there. So three season wild camping is where I'm at. And I'm gonna show you today in this vlog, my wild camping gear, a few new bits. And we're gonna weigh it at the end of the vlog, see what it weighs. Now, let me just say before we get uh, started that I am not an experienced wild camper, obviously. But in case it wasn't obvious, I'm not experienced. I have done a little bit of it and uh, trying to get into it. I did have a coast to coast planned last year, but because of obvious reasons, uh, didn't get to do that, I had to cancel that. So if it hadn't been for the pandemic, I definitely would be an expert by now after doing the 200 uh, mile uh, project there and I would have been wild camping that, but that didn't happen. So going for the West Highland Way this time, which is only 100, only 100 miles. Actually, that's more realistic. I might have failed on that 200. Anyway, like I say, I am not an experienced wild camper. Done a little bit of it, but most of it is uh, pretty new to me. I am, however, going to leave links in the description below, and I'll uh, mention a couple of channels right now. Uh, people that have helped me, channels that have helped me along the way, building up my wild camping gear, and still are uh, channels that I still watch. And it's not just about gear, they get themselves out there, of course, and uh, you get some great scenery as well. And advice, they always reply to you. Uh, one of them is uh, Simon Outdoors. Like I said, I'll leave this link in the description below and uh, Paul Messner, excellent channels. They have helped me a lot. And there'll be a few more in the links below. Now I have been continuing to tweak my wild camping gear for a while. So it is gonna be interesting for me as well because I've got a few new little bits and bats. Um, it's gonna be interesting for me to see what the base weight is. The base weight, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, going for the base weight, that's no food or, um, or clothing. It's just the actual camping gear. I think that's basically base weight. So we're going to find out what my base weight is uh, today and see how it all fits in the bag. In fact, I'll show you now how it fits in the bag because I've got it all packed on this table here where I'm ready to record. I think we're gonna find it difficult on this little picnic table. Where am I gonna stand? I'm gonna to have to stand down that little gap there. <laughs> so have a look at it in its packed state. That's what it looks like. And we are going to, uh, have a chat about that right now. It looks like it might rain, so I'm going to actually get on with this <laughs> pretty quick. This could be interesting. So first of all, let's start with the tent because you can't go anywhere without the tent. Got the tent strapped to the top of the bag here. And the tent that I am using is the Van Gogh 200 Pro. That's the Van Gogh 200 Pro. It's a two-man tent. It's a snug two-man tent, I got to say. And I do say a two-man tent. There is a two-woman version and uh, both versions can be used by both sexes. Now, it's not the lightest tent. It comes in at about two kilograms and uh, it's got a great uh, stuff sack though. The stuff sack is massive, so you don't have to uh, struggle to get the tent in there. And then it's got these compression straps around it. Very easy to pack away in a hurry. The Van Gogh Pro 200 is a very low profile tent, so you can't really, you can just about sit up in it. Uh, but because it's low profile, it copes with high winds really well. Now you can access the Pro 200 from both sides. That's really handy when you do have two of you in there. And uh, like I say, it's snug for two, it's brilliant for one. Me and my lass have been wild camping using this tent and it's been really good having the openings at both sides. So that's the tent, the Van Gogh 200 Pro, and uh, I think it's a brilliant tent, especially at the price. You can pick these up for about 120 quid. I really am gonna to have to be quick because it's going to rain. <laughs> the sleeping pad, that's something that I've changed. I was using, uh, 
I was using one of them foam mats and it took up a lot of room. This takes up a lot less room and it's the Thermarest Neo Air and it boasts the best uh, warmth to weight ratio of, uh, of all the uh, sleep pads. Haven't actually tried that, so uh, you'll be seeing me trying that uh, as the weather gets better. So that's my uh, sleep mat. Now, sleeping bags. Uh, I do have this sleeping bag, which I have tried, the Van Gogh Ultralight Pro 200. I've tried this out last year and uh, it's absolutely brilliant, really warm. In fact, I think it's a little bit too warm. Uh, it packs pretty small, that's as small as I can get it. Good uh, way the bag cinches up like that. It's a, it's a great sleeping bag. And uh, that's the one that I'll not be using because you can see a slight difference in size with these and a difference in warmth, of course, but this will be ample warm enough for a three season camping. So I'm gonna use this one, saves on a little bit of size in my bag. And this is the Van Gogh Pro 100. And I got that for 60 quid, which is a bargain because I went to buy another one the other day uh, for my last, so that we've got two smaller ones. Uh, and it's gone up to 94 quid. Uh, don't know what's going on there, but uh, wish I'd bought two at 60 quid. So that's the sleeping bag that I'll be using. So the food, what we're cooking the food in, I'm using the Pinnacle Duelist. Uh, Duelist because there's two of everything, uh, but I've tweaked it a little bit. So let's open it up. It does have this little uh, pouch that it goes in and that can double up as a wash basin. It's actually waterproof, pretty handy. I'm keeping the Duelist tub that it comes in, the cook pot, should I say. Keeping that. Like I say, it had two of everything inside, but uh, I'm just using the tubs from it with no lids. They're handy because they nest inside each other. That goes in this cook pot, which does have increments on the side for measuring, so that's handy. They go in there like that. Then I've got two of these uh, Sea to Summit cups. They're brilliant, I'm sure you've seen them. Two of them, they go in there like that, like that. And then a small gas canister, that goes in there like that. But uh, I shall put it in some cloths for uh, cleaning up. So I'll just put that on the cloth. This saves it rattling around. Tips from the top, you guys have been giving me tips. So nice pink one there, nice pink cloth there. I nearly said his and hers, but I'm not allowed to say that now. <laughs> I did say it. Right, um, and we've got a straining lid. It has straining holes on there. That goes on top there. And then you squeeze the handle in, flip it over. That's that. So that is the uh, cook system that I'm using. And I find it okay. I know there are smaller, and I might just go smaller if I have to be the next thing that I tweak. And here's the uh, the stove that I use. Could do with a better box. This box is so awkward when your hands are cold. Really awkward box. Uh, tough, but uh, yeah, there's the uh, the stove that I use. Do I have to get it out? Yeah, I do. You're doing a little video, Rob. Of course you've got to get it out. There you go, that's the stove that I'm using. Pretty simple one, you see lots of them about. I need a better box for that. Got a cheap frying pan. There's pretty simple um, uh, handles fold out like that. Don't know whether I'll take that every time, but I do have that. I've got uh, Sea to Summit pillow. Sea to Summit pillow there. Uh, and they're really handy. Look how small that is. And this is the uh, large one. I think I've got the regular. The regular there, if you want to see the difference in size. Not much. There is a little bit of a difference though. So they're the pillows that I'll be using. They're really handy. So just the last few things, I've of course got a first aid kit. I'll just go through a few little things that I have in here. Last few things, just quickly go through them. Uh, I've got my water filtration kit in here and that's the Sawyer Mini and a water bladder. Uh, another little cloth there. Two titanium spokes just got them. Uh, I've got the ability to make fire if I need to with a lighter and one of these strikers. 
Uh, what else have I got? I've got a head torch. Pretty good make. Don't know how you pronounce that, but uh, yeah, I've got a head torch. That's pretty good. Another little torch, a cycling torch. I thought it was pretty small, so I've put it in there with it. Uh, a corkscrew bottle opener. Don't know what that's all about. A uh, little multi-tool. And uh, this was a bit of good advice. Um, this is a bit of bungee cord with some... Uh, carabiners on the ends and that makes a washing line dry your gear so that's about it for this one i hope you have enjoyed looking at my wild camping gear a few of you have been asking me about it so that will just nip out and show you um yeah hope you've enjoyed it but is it lightweight is it a lightweight camping gear what does it weigh well the base weight comes in at eight kilograms and uh, when i'm traveling with my lass uh, putting her extra sleeping bag in and the little odds and ends um that comes in at 10 kilograms so that's it for this one i hope you have enjoyed it um, we have been recording, by the way, using two cameras, 360 camera, GoPro 360 camera max and the GoPro Hero 9. And that's why I've been switching, not really knowing which camera to look at. But that is it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like, consider subscribing. I upload every month. So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one.